What's up guys? Welcome to Snakes and Trails Season 3. Tonight I'm out here in the Trans-Pecos region of Texas looking for great banded king snakes. Should be a really good time, so let's get at it and cue, let's cue that intro. All right guys, so today out here in West Texas, I'm hitting um, the area west of Sanderson. Um, that area got plowed with moisture, and I mean plowed. So um, it should be a really good night. There should be um, at least a few snakes on the cuts tonight. I'm really excited to see what I find, and I'm really hoping I'll see a gray banded king snake or a milk snake. Um, I'll probably hang out on these cuts until about two or three in the morning. Um, and if I haven't seen anything by then, I'll probably either jump up towards the North Sanderson cuts or maybe even jump down to Black Gap because Black Gap got dumped on with rain too. So anyway, it's going to be a really fun night either way um, and I'm really excited. So um, let's get to it and I'll show you what I find. Alright guys, kind of a funny tradition. Uh, herpers like to leave little fake toy uh, reptiles out on the road cuts. So someone left this little purple orange uh, toy lizard on the cut. Kind of funny to see, but anyway, I'm gonna keep at it. All right guys, so I just ran into uh, Roy Engeldorf out here. Uh, Roy's a really cool guy. He runs the Outback Oasis Hotel in Sanderson. Uh, it's a hotel that a lot of the people that hurt this area stay at, but pretty cool to have a second set of eyes out on this cut with me. We're gonna be uh, shining back and forth on it. Um, I might try to get up on top of it even every once in a while. Um, and it should be a really good night kind of doubles our chances of seeing something so it should be pretty cool All right guys, so now I'm up here on top of this road cut um, And it's super rocky super good habitat for lepidus and for alterna Blacktail rattlesnakes diamondback rattlesnakes it Just looks great all around. I'm excited to see what I'll see up here. Roy's at the bottom I might try to scare something down to him. Roy just said he saw a copperhead uh, on the cut. I haven't seen a copperhead since I got here, so that's kind of cool. I might, hopefully it's still there when I get down there. I'm gonna try to get down there, but if you don't remember a couple seasons ago, I tore my ACL jumping down from the top of one of these road cuts. So I've gotten it repaired since then, and I just don't really want to do that again. So. I'm gonna try to find a safe place to get down, but unfortunately that's gonna be a little while, it feels like. All right guys, it took some time to spot that copperhead and he made a good bit of distance from where Roy first found him, but here he is. Let me grab my better light. He's beautiful. I'm gonna grab him so that we don't lose him. Hello, pretty. All right, guys. So this species of copperhead used to be its own subspecies. They used to be Pictogaster. He's fast. And now, their individuals. Geez, he's quick. I don't want to try to film him up here. It's pretty precarious. I'm going to get him off the cut and then get some better footage for you guys. How about that? All right, guys. So here's this copperhead. They used to be known as a Keystradon contortix pictogaster, the uh, Transpecos copperhead, but now they're actually lumped into broad banded copperheads. Um, really pretty brick red color on this guy. Um, this is my first individual from this county, which is Terrell County ever. I've only ever seen them before this in Jeff Davis County. But anyway, really excited to see this snake. Uh, it's not really liking these tongs very much. It's been very bitey. Um, this is a, the most mellow it's been, and I just don't want to bother it that much more. So I'm going to go ahead and let it go. But still, really cool find. Uh, Roy actually shined it on a cut, and I was at the top of the cut when he found it. But... Um, I couldn't get down. It took me a long time to get down, so the copperhead kind of slithered away, and 
we were uh, shining around looking for it and it took us a while but I finally shined it again on the cut so anyway really cool to see this guy I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some pictures and video I actually already got pictures and video and then I'm gonna let him go but cool snake all right guys so I just got to camp uh, it was a super fun night really cool to see that copperhead but I'm exhausted it was really tough getting home with uh, how tired I am so I'm gonna get some rest and we'll game plan tomorrow all right guys so it's the next evening um, it really it's again it's a cloudy um, rainy day um, black gap is getting smashed again with rain so that should be good again tomorrow night and the next night um, and it looks like the rain is kind of gonna skirt around Sanderson a little bit um, so I'm probably gonna hang out in town um, around these cuts here um, and I think so someone found one alterna out here last night it turned out um, out on the east side of Sanderson but I want to kind of stick around the west side I, I was on that cut all night last night and uh, um, didn't end up seeing anything but I think I might have a shot at seeing something tonight also so um, it's let's see it's 89 degrees super humid and the pressure is dropping right now so it's another good textbook night for gray banded king snakes but we've had a few of those this summer before where we didn't see anything so we'll see what happens all right guys so uh reviewing some footage sorry last night that that copperhead footage uh was out of focus it back back focused on this rock cut instead of on my face uh, which really sucks i don't know why i'm having trouble with autofocus with this camera it's supposed to be really really good on this camera but all that aside, um, I'm out for the next night. I'm gonna hang out on this cut a little bit again, um, and then I might jump down to uh, Black Gap later, which is a place where there's um, not very much moisture ever throughout the year, and they've gotten a good bit of moisture throughout the last couple of days, so it could be really good. Um, anyway, I'm really excited to see what happens tonight. It feels like it could be a really good night. We've got quite the uh, scene of clouds behind me here. So anyway, I'm gonna get to it, and uh, we'll see what we find. All right, guys, so out here on uh, this cut, um, Austin, my friend that I hung out with a couple of episodes ago, came out and has been shining with me. And then his friend Grant showed up too. So it's pretty cool. We got multiple eyes on the cut. Um, and I kind of took advantage of the time um, that I could kind of not be as focused on looking for snakes to take a Milky Way photo. So I'll show you that here. Um, I really like that. Uh, it came out so well. I used um, my video light to just barely paint light on the road cut. And then I also used, or actually, there was a car coming up. And I thought that the car was going to ruin my shot, but it actually made the perfect little termination point at the end of the road. So I really liked the way that shot came out. Anyway, now I'm going to keep shining this cut, and um, we'll see what happens. Should be a good night. Um, we haven't seen any snakes so far, but... We're just having fun hanging out, so we'll see what happens. All right, guys, Grant just found this crazy snake. Um, this is the farthest west I've ever seen a rough green snake. Tiny little guy. That's crazy. There we go. Man, that's really cool. It's also the smallest I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Man. First snake of the night. Snakes are moving. <laughs> all right, guys. So Grant's out here finding all the snakes tonight. There's one rough green right here. Another one in the next bush. Another one in a bush over there. And another one in a bush way over there. But I'm going to grab this guy so we can look at it. Hello, friend. Hi. Are you going to be a bitey one? Just like your friend? I hate how prickly these bushes are up here. What a cool snake. How often do you guys just get to see a lime green snake in the middle of the desert? Pretty cool. This one's a little bit beat up, but I'm going to get some footage and take some pictures of him. All right, guys. Here's this rough green snake. These things are so cool. They have a yellowish green belly that just glows in trees. As you could kind of see in the GoPro footage, this thing illuminated like a highlighter in that desert uh, gray brush. Such a cool animal. It makes no sense to me 
that you can find snakes like this out here in the desert part of the Trans-Pecos region of West Texas. Really excited to see this little guy. I'm thankful for Grant to actually have been the one to spot it. Um, man, just really cool animal. This is also the furthest west I've ever gotten to see one. So I'm gonna get some footage of him and I'm gonna probably, he's a little squirrely as you can see. Um, so I'm gonna try to get some photos of him because I'd really like to get good pictures of this snake. Um, and then I'm gonna let it go, but anyway, pretty cool. All right guys, so I'm just getting back to camp for the end of my night. It is six in the morning and I am dead, dead tired. So I'm gonna get some sleep, but thank you so much for watching this episode of Snakes and Trails. I had a total blast hanging out with Austin, uh, with Grant a little bit, and with uh, Kyle Elmore, a couple of really good people. I'm gonna link all their socials down below, so be sure to go check them out. But again, thank you for watching this episode of Snakes and Trails. We'll see you next week. Later.